the difference between a producer and beat maker. When we listen to a song, we often don't realize the effort that goes into its production. From the lyrics, the beat, the harmonies, and of course, the final edit that brings everything together. But the two most important people that you need to create music are the producer and the beat maker. Contrary to popular belief, there's a huge difference when it comes to these two roles. So, in this video, we're going to be clearing up all your confusion and give you a roundup of all the differences between a producer and a beat maker. Before we talk about their differences, let's take a look at exactly what makes a person a beat maker and what makes them a producer. As far as beat makers go, the idea is pretty self-explanatory. They make beats. Think Kanye West, T-Pain, and Tyler the Creator. All of these artists are extremely involved in the creation of the beats and rhythms of their songs. Beat makers often work with digital and acoustic instruments to compose a beat, or more simply, the music of a song. While some beat makers just leave their contribution at this, some like to go the extra mile and maybe write lyrics for a line or two before selling their beat to another artist. Artists like Kanye West started out by producing and assembling beats and selling them to artists like Jay-Z and Beyonce. Beat making is a huge part of the production process, especially in modern day hip hop, and a lot of major artists rely on both producers and beat makers when it comes to producing hit songs. Now, most music producers usually start off as beat makers, which is why people keep confusing the two jobs. Music producers oversee the entire process that song making requires, from the lyrics to finalizing the beats and then recording the song. Music producers generally have a larger say in what happens with the song than the beat makers who just create a beat, sell it to the artist, and then walk away. Music producers also have the authority to change, alter, or even delete parts of the beat if they want to. It's pretty easy for the beat maker to transition to a producer simply because both the roles require you to have a deep understanding of music. However, unlike a beat maker, a producer really doesn't involve themselves in the actual process of playing instruments and creating a beat. During his gig as a local DJ, Dr. Dre learned how to mix existing beats, mixing samples, and getting artists to play over them. Back in the day, this process was entirely different from what a traditional beat maker did, which is why Dr. Dre started referring to himself as a music producer. This meant that he didn't produce any music on his own, but at the same time, he definitely had the ear to know which sound worked and which didn't. As a result of his experience and talent, Dre went on to not just produce tracks, but also help kickstart music careers for some of the most iconic hip hop legends in the world, including Snoop Dogg and Tupac Shakur. What made Dr. Dre such a terrific producer was also the fact that he was pretty great at spotting talent which is a huge part of any music producer's job. One of the many talents that Dre discovered was a piano session player, Scott Storch, who went on to become a huge part of the producer's music career. Storch helped Dr. Dre with his song, Still, by collaborating with him to develop the main riff for his song, Still Dre. Still Dre has gone platinum four times and is one of the best hip hop songs of all time, even to this day. Not just Scott, but Dr. Dre always put a lot of emphasis on hiring session musicians to help him with his production process. The session musicians combined with beat makers, lyricists, and other singers who would help him come up with unconventional ideas, setting him apart from everyone else in the game when it came to producing tracks. While a beat maker could sell their music to nearly anyone who could pay the price, music producers have a criteria for the kind of people they choose to work with and the talent they choose to invest their time and energy into. Considering Dre's incredibly successful career as a music producer, there's much more to production than just beat making. A producer gets the job done, no matter how much it takes. Their job is to put a track together in a way that it has the potential to become a commercial success. Not only did Dre produce and put together music for artists like Eminem and Snoop Dogg, he also made sure he played a huge part to play in the entire creative process, which is what made him the maestro of music production. From the album cover to the music video and promotions, 
a producer's job simply never stops until the album or the single is released to the public. Think of a producer as an alpha of the pack. The pack consists of singers, lyricists, beat makers, sound engineers, and instrumentalists, and all of these people follow the alpha. Producers might bring in session musicians, session singers, or whatever the song needs to become a hit. So, what's the confusion about? At the end of the day, producers and beat makers have a vision for a song, but the beat maker's vision is limited to the beat, while the producer's vision goes way beyond that. Which is why, in this modern era of music, producers like David Guetta, DJ Khaled, and of course Dr. Dre are given credits in song titles, even when they're not singing or playing any instruments in the song. Why? Well, because just like you would give credits to the director of a film, modern day musicians give credits to the producer of their albums and songs because they are the people who make the magic happen. Beat makers often aren't credited for their work unless they are closely involved with the production process. But can a beat maker also be a producer? The answer to that question is yes. In fact, that's really how Dr. Dre started out. Another really great example of a beat maker and producer is Kanye West, who has produced beats for artists like Ludacris, Mariah Carey, and Alicia Keys. If a beat maker works with the artist in person and involves himself in the entire production process, they will be credited as a producer in today's world. However, as far as the rules of music industry go, for now, beat makers just sell the instrumental to the artist and that's it. The artist then takes the instrumental into a recording studio and then collaborates with their producer, who's the person that's actually responsible for turning that beat into something magical. That's a wrap for the differences between a producer and beat maker. Let us know your opinion in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more. Until next time, bye.